In today's video, I will show you how to use this photo slicer template in Adobe Premiere Pro. Hello there, my name is Shabit, and if you want to see more awesome tutorials like this one, like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell button to be notified whenever I add new content. Once you have downloaded the template from the link in the description, right click on the zip file and choose extract all. A window will pop up that allows you to pick where to extract the zip file. Select the location you want and click extract. After the extraction is completed, we must uninstall the project's essential fonts. To do this, open the fonts folder and right click on the font file, then select install. Now open the project file. From the file explorer, drag and drop the folder containing the pictures you want to use in this slideshow into the project panel. Double click the folder to open it in a separate tab for quicker access. And click on this icon view to get a preview of the photo that you are working with. Go back to the project tab, expand the edit comps folder, then the images folder. Double click on the image one sequence to open it. Then drag the image you want to the sequence. You can adjust its position and scale from a fixed control to make it fit. After you have adjusted the position and scale, click and drag from the right of the layer and expand it more than 6 seconds. Return to the project tab, open image 2 and drag your image change the location and scale to fit, and expand it more than 6 seconds. Again return to the project tab, open image 3, drag your image, change the location and scale to fit, and extend it more than 6 seconds. Like that, repeat the same process for each of the 15 images. Once you have finished adding your images, let's change the text that appears over them. To do this, go to the project tab, expand the edit comps folder, then the text folder, and open text 1. Select the text tool from the toolbar, or just hit T on your keyboard. Then triple click on the text to change it to whatever you want. I am going for a new story. You can repeat this process for all the text. If you don't want the text to appear over your photo, just select the text layer and press backspace or delete on your keyboard. To export our slideshow, navigate to the export window in the top left corner. Make sure media file is toggled on. Type your file name and select the location to save it. And for the preset, because I'm exporting this for YouTube, I'm using YouTube 1080p Full HD preset, but you can use any of these high quality presets. In the format section, make sure it's H.264 and then click export in the bottom right corner. A few moments later. After it's finished exporting, here is a preview of what you should get. Please feel free to ask any questions you may have in the comment section below and I will do my best to respond. Like and subscribe for more tutorials and hit the bell to be notified when I upload new content. Thank you for watching.